What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today I have my top five exercises to build massive legs. Make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. Hey, one thing I want to let you know is when you're training to build hypertrophy, as an athlete, I know mostly athletes are watching this video, right? You want to let hypertrophy or growth come as a byproduct to your strength and power training. But sometimes you want to just, you know, grow. So if we're trying to build the legs, we want to dip into those higher rep ranges. Each exercise I'm about to show you today can be used to build strength as a strength main mover for that training session, or it can be used as accessories towards the end. So today's video, your rep ranges are going to be your 8s, your 12s, your 15s, sometimes even 20 reps to force the growth of the legs. So just keep that in mind. All right, coming in at number one, if you want to build those legs up, is the front squat. Why I like the front squat is because it works on the trunk as well. So as an athlete, as a softball player like Big Tina is, you need that dynamic trunk control. No better exercise to work both than the front squat. Also, it's really good to get in those end ranges of motion. When you're looking for size, you want those deep end ranges of motion so you can hit the entire muscle. So go ahead and hit it. Front squat, you can go like a hang clean grip if your wrist mobility is good. If not, go ahead and rack it real quick, Big Tina. If your wrist mobility isn't as good as hers, you can go ahead, put it right up here, and then cross your arms over. But do it however you feel comfortable now. Good, so go ahead down into that full range. Nice, now pop up. The front squat is gonna hit a lot more of your quads, your VMOs, etc., than a back squat on the posterior chain, just because look at where the lever is gonna be, right? It's out over your quads. So if you're looking to build big quads, this is the exercise to do. And like I said before, end of a training session, after you do your speed and power training, hit your eight reps, your 10 reps, your 12 reps, your 15, even up to 20 reps if you're just focusing on growth. All right, coming in at number two is a big posterior chain developer. You got the glutes, you got the hamstrings back there. We're gonna go high volume, high repetitions on this exercise. I call this a slump buster in here. Gets a couple laughs, right? However, it's just your glute bridge. All right, so you're gonna get a bench, then you can load the barbell up. Um, we get this going pretty heavy. You know, Big Tina, she'd have no problems ripping three wheels on this. So go ahead, scooch back. So the hardest part about this exercise is setting it up, okay? You can have your teammates come over and help you. So we'll lift it for you as you get in a good position. You're gonna put your scaps or shoulder blades on this bench, and you're gonna bring your feet in to where it's about 90 degree angle here. So me and Max are gonna help her lift up. Three, two, up. Good, and get it in a good position between the pad and your hips. Now, even Big Tina, go ahead and scoot your feet out a little more to make it 90. Yep, and the goal here is to press through those heels and thrust up, and I always cue my guys and gals to hold it at the top of that rep for one to two seconds to stop that momentum so you're not bouncing it up and down. So go ahead and hit it. Good, pause up at the top, nice and you're gonna squeeze your glute and hamstrings at the top of each rep here. Coming in at number three is a gym favorite. It is the Bulgarian split squat. All the athletes hate doing it, right? But the amount of benefits you receive from this in a single leg dominant sport, like baseball, like softball, is astronomical. Also, it's really good for pumping up the quads if you go further out in the position, it's gonna pump up the posterior chain. So it's really good to add that layer of size. How I like to do Bulgarian split squats, when we add it into an accessory hypertrophy at the end of each training session, is we can go simple, right? Your eights, tens, twelves, or you can do a drop set. So today, Big Team is gonna do a drop set with it. So let's set it up. I have this Bulgarian split squat pad. If you don't have this, you can very easily just use a bench, but this is what this is made for, so it's a lot easier to use that roller. Then you're gonna pick a position to extend out with what you're going for, right? If you're looking to build more of the VMO, the quad, 
that foot's gonna be closer to this back foot and you're gonna draw that knee over the toe. If you're looking to build more of the hamstrings, the glute, you're gonna extend that forward and sit down and back more. But what Big Tina is gonna do here for this volume is she's gonna do 10 reps total. Let's go ahead and hit it. We'll do one big set here. We're not gonna cheat the system. Hit 10. Ten. Now after that ten, you're gonna stay in that position. You're gonna drop the outside one. Now you're gonna do ten reps right now with that inside dumbbell. Now you're gonna drop that one and go body weight. Good, where do you feel that mostly? In the glute? That's because her leg was spread out, so she was sitting down and back. Coming in at number four is a hamstring dominant exercise to grow those hammies. This is your typical exercise ball, BOSU ball, whatever it may be. And Big Tina, come over here. You're gonna lay down on your back. We're gonna pop both feet up on this ball. How we're gonna do this, right, we're gonna go 10 one leg, 10 the other leg, and then 10 double leg. So 30 total reps in a single set here. So go ahead and hit it high volume. Hips high. Hit your 10 single leg each side. Biggest cue here, right, is keeping those hips high the entire time. Don't let those hips sag. It's gonna take that pressure, take that tension off the hamstring. Those hips high. All right, last but not least, coming in at number five, may surprise you, however, Guys in the strength industry like to get carried away with stuff. You know, athletes all the time like to get real carried away with movements. But believe it or not, one of the most tried and true studied exercise for building hypertrophy of the legs is your typical everyday back squat at full range, full ass to grass. But listen, as an athlete, right, if you're going full range of motion, ass to grass, it's all about how you program it. Because if you're training those low joint angles, you're neglecting the upper joint angles that matter in sport. However, right, if we're just trying to get big legs, you can go high volume on the back squat, right? So go ahead and set this up, Big Tina. With the back squat for building hypertrophy, we want to go high bar back squat. That's just gonna allow you to engage the glutes and hamstrings a little bit more, keeping that bar over your center of mass. Unlike the front squat, right, it's gonna take some of that pressure off of the quads and move it to the back, move it to the posterior chain. So this is a big glute builder, hamstring builder, hit it. Big Tina's dealing with a little bit of ankle mobility issues here, but as she does more of it, it's gonna clean it up. So the gluteus maximus, the glute max, is one of the biggest, most important muscles in the posterior chain, especially for promoting athleticism. So if we get those big, we get those strong, that's how you're gonna get that big transfer over to the field. Hey, that's a wrap. Go ahead and add those five exercises in if you wanna build massive legs. But hey, remember, right? You're given a little bit to take a little bit. You have your athletic performance on one side, your speed, power, strength, and then you have your hypertrophy style training, your bodybuilding, your uh, low intensity, high volume stuff, right? When you're trying to grow. 
Anytime you're training that, you're slightly pulling away from the components that matter in a sport, your speed, power, strength. So find that balance. If you just really need to add size onto those legs, go ahead and hit those five exercises at higher volumes, lower intensities, right? Your eight to 10s to 12 to 15 reps. But if you just wanna allow hypertrophy to come on a little bit slower, growth to come on slower, but still training for speed and power, you can bump the intensity on those exercises up and volume lower. So hit your, you know, four, five, six sets of three to five reps. Now you can use more weight, getting better power and strength adaptation. So hope that helps if you're trying to build massive legs. And always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. Do me a favor and subscribe for me. I appreciate you. Game Rewards of Grind, it knows how much you've invested.